What's going on everybody? Today we woke up again in beautiful sunny Jacksonville, Florida. It's like 70 and grayed out right now, which is good for us because we're planning on doing a grab adventure. Now in the last video, you saw how we're taking the stuff on the grounds. Today's video is about is what are we taking on our trip with the groms? Now, a little bit about the trip. We are gonna circumnavigate Florida because we still don't wanna go north into the cold and a lot of our fellow van life, bus life people are here. So we're gonna go do that. Mindy planned that route out and she'll tell you about it now. All that on 125 cc groms. Check them out. So to show you guys what we're bringing, first we're gonna have to unload. All right, the first thing we're gonna show you guys is our sleep setup. We don't plan on staying in hotels or anything like that. We are going camping. The sleep setup is pretty cool. We each have a sleeping pad, because you wanna be comfortable. Sleep bag. And our two-person tent. This is the same gear that we go backpacking with. This tent is the Kelty Grand Mesa 2. We've used it on a couple camping trips. We take it backpacking and, I mean, how many times have we used it? I would say like at least 15 times. We've loved it. It's a, it's a great tent. We'll leave it in the link below if you're interested in checking it out. One more thing. We also have pillows. It's the Sea to Summit Extra Large Inflatable Pillow. All right, that's what we have for the sleep system. Let's move on to our cook system, which I'm carrying in this bag. For our cook system, we have our jet boil and fuel. We've used this jet boil I was gonna say we use this jet boil a ton of times, but we literally use this every single day. This is what we cook on in the van, so this is nothing new. But for this trip, we're bringing these cups, which are really sweet, because they pop up. And the best part about these, see the Summit was onto something here. They fit directly in the jet boil. Somebody at their company was thinking. Let's see. And then we also have our sporks. This bag is also where the food's gonna go. We haven't bought it yet. Um, we need to run to the store and grab a couple things, but there's room in here for food. For medical, we have a basic northbound train kit. We've been using these for years, but they have all the things for algae boo boo, scrapes, cuts, and then we add in things like allergy pills, uh, stubbing stuff. It's really good to have a medical kit because, well, when you're in the middle of nowhere, you gotta take care of yourself. And then one other thing we do, since we do more high risk activity, we always bring tourniquets. I have multiple because this could be the difference between us making it in the hospital and not. For showering, we do plan on going to the gym, but at the gym, you might need a towel. So we have our camping Sea to Summit microfibers. We love these things and have used them for years. And then we have our toiletries, uh, like wipes and stuff when you're out in the bush and a smell proof bag for little critters. So that's all we need for hygiene stuff. Works out great. For water, we are just using our brand new Camelbacks. We talked about these in the last video. They're great, they're super lightweight. Two liters should be more than enough for what we're doing. But say we're out in the woods and we wanna stay there a little longer, we also have a soil filter that can go in line or be on its own little thing and aqua tabs. So we have multiple ways to have clean, tasty water. For tools, we have extra bungees and carabiners because we just kind of rigged our system up together with what we had. Wanted a backup just in case something breaks. We have black duct tape. If our bags rip, well, duct tape pretty much fixes everything. We have a tire plug kit. This is a tubeless tire kit. The link will be in the description below for this. This thing is pretty sweet. Then if we do get a flat or we need air, this is actually a manual or a portable pump. That's the size of the pump, but it's uh, all the reviews online say people love it for, for travel, for motorcycle tires. Chain wax, gotta have it. Since they are chain driven, I have an extra brush and that wax to make sure they're lubricated. Then, this is my giant tool roll. Um, it's only about a quarter of the way full, but I basically put uh, sockets on every nut and bolt on that bike that I might need to fix and put it in here. That's all I'm doing. I have my trusty dandy trusty dandy, my handy dandy trusty multi-tool. This is the Leatherman Surge, and then I've also got the additional stuff inside. So I've got like all the bits, saw blades, a flashlight, 
and the extender bit. Like I can fix most things with that. If we need security, we're bringing our bike locks since these do, uh, they only weigh 200 pounds. We'll strap them together if we need to leave them for an extended period of time. And then the only other tool that I brought is my saw. This is our camping saw. So if we decide we want to fire and there's some downed logs, this is just a great way to gather some wood for that. And it also only weighs like maybe half a pound. That's it tools guys. We're not bringing other, other, other stuff than that besides like my normal pocket knife I carry everywhere. You guys should be pretty proud of Joe. It's really hard for him to, to pare down tools. Oh, I always need a backup to the backup to the backup. In the military, it was always, you know, one is none and two is one type mentality. But the reality is, is am I going to break any of these metal tools? Probably not. So I'm just bringing what I need. For clothes, we went really simple. We each have an outer shell. We have a mid layer and we have a base layer. Our base layers are pretty great. They're merino wool. It's just a long sleeve shirt. But what's nice about merino wool is a long day riding. These don't pick up smell very quickly. So that's why we chose merino wool for the face. And then just the clothes we had were the ones for the other layers. And then we organized them very simply. We use packing cubes in the van. So like all our t-shirts and then one packing cube for basically four days of clothes. We got underwear, socks, a couple pairs of pants, some board shorts, and that's about it. We kept it minimal. Keep it simple is kind of the whole plan. We don't need a lot. And if we run out of clothes, we'll just go to a laundromat and be done in an hour. The only other thing we did bring is rain gear. We have rain pants to go with our rain jackets just in case we get caught up. The other gear we have is gloves because nobody likes taking a rock to the knuckle. We have helmets. I just got this new helmet. Super happy with it. It's got sunglasses. Like, I'm so excited. I've been rocking a $30 crappy helmet for so long. I am so pumped about this. Um, and that's pretty much it for gear. We have shoes, like I have ankled shoes and camelback. We don't have any fancy Kevlar jackets or anything like that yet. Maybe something in the future will get better jackets, but for now, this is what we got. The last category is electronics and tech stuff. We're bringing our laptops for editing and obviously a bunch of filming equipment like the drone, uh, the camera that we're filming on now, the GoPro, and a ton of batteries. For navigation, we'll just be using our cell phones because that's what we have. We don't have any fancy navigation system yet, but if we get into this more, I would think that's in our future. The biggest reason for that is we're in Florida. Like we know Florida and we pretty much know that uh, you just get to a highway and we already know where we need to be. And we're not doing tons of off-roading because we still have street tires on the Groms. This is really just to see how interested we'll actually be in motorcycle camp. And we already love riding the bikes everywhere. So we figured we'd go ahead and give it a test run with the lowest cost input possible. And that's what we came up with. That's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Also wanted to let you know that when we rolled into this park, I rolled straight into a pile of poopy. Big old pile of poopy. Yeah, that was lovely. We also have matching towels, just like matching bikes. The link will be in the street. The... Yeah, like, uh, the, the, the. <laughs> This is the biggest, busiest park I think we could have possibly gone to. And airplanes. Okay, moving on quickly before the next car comes.